Sometimes when your team plays an out-of-town foe, the coaches can be a little on edge. You don't know them as well as the Metroplex teams, and that can cause angst. But as the Saxe coaches found out, there's a flip side. They don't know your junior stud quarterback that well either. Saxe quarterback Jalen Maiden has been making a name for himself on the DFW scene for a couple of years now. Last Friday night, he let Coppers Cove High School know what the Metroplex has been talking about in a big way. Maiden threw for 360 yards and four touchdowns while rushing for another score in the Mustangs, 48-16 thrashing of the Bulldogs. He threw two TDs in the first four minutes of the game, and Saxe never looked back as Maiden earned himself this week's MVP bobblehead. We're now joined by Saxe quarterback Jalen Maiden and his offensive coordinator, Jay Northcutt. And as you can see, I'm empty-handed. Uh, we didn't get the bobblehead in on time. Yeah. But here it is. So that's kind of neat. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't physically give it to you, but check it out. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Good, good. It's a good look. The Navy on Navy is, is clean. We will get you that bobblehead. All right, so my first question, um, I understand that you're going to Disney World in January, and you were just named to the USA under-18 football team that will play the Canadian national team at the end of January during Pro Bowl week. What a great honor. How excited are you uh, to play in that game? I'm really excited. I'm just uh, blessed that they, they decided that uh, my skill set was good enough to play with the 18. You know, I'm still 16, so I'm just... I really like it. I just want to take my time about it and uh, just really focus on the playbooks that they sent me and just really just uh, make sure I got it all down. But first, Saxy football. And then, yes, then we'll get to that. Uh -huh. uh, Coach Northcutt, you got a special guy here, a Division I quarterback. He's just a junior. What makes him special? Well, I think there's a lot of things that make him special. I mean, he definitely is very athletic uh, and he's very dedicated to being good at his position. But the thing that I think makes him the most special is, uh, all that being said, he's, a, he's an even better human being. He's a great friend of his teammates. He's a great leader. And, and I think those are the things that really make him special. And he's got a good upbringing because Jalen has pedigree. His brother James, wide receiver at Rice. Uh, brother Jared, great player last year, now at Alabama. Uh, what did you learn from these talented siblings, and how did that help you play for Saxe now? Uh, really, it just uh, growing up with them, they always pushed me to be more of a competitor. So just uh, just going out there like uh, the big dog I am and just taking over the game is really what I think. I like that. Don't let them push you around because you're the younger <laughs> guy and you're the biggest of them. So you weren't going to mm -hmm. let them just handle it like that, right? No. Uh, briefly, Coach, district play starts. What do you got this week? We've got Lakeview Centennial this week's big game. Uh, they've had a really good season so far, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. So. We're expecting a big one. Good. Well, congratulations to you both. I promise we're going to get you this to you, okay? Yes, Our apologies didn't get in on time.